I had a request for some of you to meet my little pride and joy. This is Satchmo White. <laughs> she is the background noise in all of my videos. The minute I press film, she's gonna like bark or run around. You're kind of a little, she's like a little monster, but I love her so much. Um, and so say hi, honey. <laughs> okay, try to go and be good. Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome back to my channel. I am going to hop on and just run through my Travel Essentials skincare. This is what I'm gonna be taking. I'm doing two back-to-back -back trips and um, kind of scrambling. So I'm just gonna run through what I'm taking. I'm kind of keeping it minimal, minimal to me. You might think it's still high maintenance, but I'm an older lady. I need my goodies. <laughs> um, so first of all, I am going to be taking Pixie. And this is Carolyn Hirons. This is the double cleanse. And there is a um, solid cleansing oil that takes off my makeup. And then there's a cleansing cream. To be honest, I don't really care for the cleansing cream. I find it a teeny bit drying for my skin, but I just ran out of my Emma Hardy cleansing balm, which makes me so sad. Uh, so I don't have that to take with me. So I kind of keep this for travel anyways, you guys. It just is that solid one is super nice and in a pinch if I need to use the cream cleanser, that works. So that is going. Number one, makeup remover. I am then taking my late VIP I02. This is my creamy cleanser. My skin freaks out if I don't use this. <laughs> um, I am tempted to try the Sicily, um, the, their creamy milk cleanser, but it's just so hard for me to switch because this was a total game changer for my skin. You guys may get bored, but this is my go-to. So taking that. Then of course I'm taking my uh, Biologique Recherche Lotion P50-1970V or P50V version. Um, you guys again, game changer, can't live without this. Um, and my daughter is using this as well and it really is clearing up her skin. So she's been having a little bit of breakouts. I just, you guys, Biologique Recherche is pretty darn good. <laughs> oh, so taking that with me. For serums, I have to be honest, I'm only taking two. I'm taking SkinCeuticals, CE Ferulic. This is my vitamin C. You guys, I tend to kind of bounce around with vitamin Cs, but this is my gold standard. I don't know how many bottles I've bought it, of this. Um, I just tend to really, my skin responds really well to it. I have used it, I'm more, you guys, since my, in my 20s. Um, so literally have used this forever. I, I still think it's one of the best vitamin C's on the market. I know there's dupes, you guys. This is just one that um, I'm kind of loyal to. Love it. I am also taking Dr. Barbara Sturm. I'm taking her Super Anti-Aging Serum. I just use this one at night. You guys, I keep it kind of simple. I double cleanse. Um, I do my Lotion P50, and then I will use my this little anti-aging serum, and then I top it with my moisturizer. For moisturizers, I am taking my um, Dr. Barbara Sturm face cream. This is the one that I use in the morning. You guys, I just love it. Is great under makeup. Love that. Super hydrating. And then I'm also taking my face cream rich. This is my nighttime cream. It is definitely heavier, but I still love it. And um, I know I could probably just get away with taking one, but I'm kind of doing it on purpose because I equally use them, it spreads it out a little bit. Um, so I am using those two I'm also kind of thinking just out loud is um, there is a cream that I'm thinking of buying from Sicily that might replace both of these. But right now you guys, if you have sensitive skin, these are your best friend. Like literally, I just find them to be hydrating. They do exactly what they say and they're fantastic. So love them. 
I am taking Jordan Samuel, the Hydrate Mist. Just gonna go ahead, take that with me and finish it off on my trips. Always like to have some sort of like little hydrator spray. And then as I said before, that is my basic regime. Just that's all I'm doing. And, but I am taking my little extras that I had mentioned in my previous, uh, previous video. I'm taking the Dr. Barbara Sturm Glow Drops. I use this kind of like a primer before makeup. I am taking my Sicily Black Rose Mask. Uh, you guys, this is just something I always take when I travel. It just settles down my skin. Sometimes when I'm traveling, my skin will kind of freak out. This always calms it down. So take that always. And then I always take this Mask Contour Eye Cream. I'm just gonna be honest, when I, when I travel, I don't always sleep the best. I just find that this is just a really good uplifting you can sleep in it as an eye mask but you can also use it as a thin layer as an eye cream or use it as a mask and then wipe it off um, very these are very versatile products i can also use this um, you know as a face cream in a pinch so i just always take those they're kind of always in my little travel bag <laughs> Um, so those are going. I'm taking my Laneige um, Lip Sleeping Mask. This is always, um, this always goes with me. I have several. I have one by my bed, one in my travel kit, and I just, this is going to come with me. And then of course, the Lumify Eye Drops. Mentioned that in the other one, but you guys, this is kind of a skincare as well. I also have a sample size, a rather deluxe <laughs> sample size of the Sicily Velvet Mask. I'm bringing that along because you guys, I really do love that. So that's the cream that I'm kind of thinking of trying out is that velvet one that has the saffron flowers in it. Uh, it just seems really nourishing. If it's anything like the sleep mask, I love the sleep mask. My skin loves it, just really kind of nourishing and mm, I love it. Okay, that, oh, I almost forgot the most important part. I, of course, am bringing my Glow Skin Beauty. Uh, this is the Solar Shade SPF 50. This is my go-to SPF. This is probably the most important thing in this whole skincare regime out of all of the stuff. I guess cleansing would be proper cleansing, but then you guys, the SPF is like the best anti-ager out there. I never go a day without this. It is my favorite and I love it. So that is coming with, I think we did it. We need water. <laughs> This is now my second one. I've got another one to go. Going to drink my water, but that is it for my skin care. I feel like I'm forgetting one thing. Um, a traditional eye cream, you guys, I tend to use the mask as my eye cream because this is easy to travel with. So that is that. Keeping it simple. And you guys, again, thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. I'd love to hear what your like go-to non, um, as, you know, non-negotiable skincare items that you have to travel with. And, but those are my basic, this is kind of like my streamlined regime here. Um, and you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Okay guys, that is it. I'm keeping it kind of lean and mean, headed out the door. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. I can also do a little check-in on that SPF. Um, because I'm running out of time. Anyways, the only thing I would tell you about the SPF, I'm really liking the finish, but I kind of am feeling like it is a little heavy and greasy on my skin. So that would just be a little update.